Hello. Guess who's home early? Turns out that the snow made it a little too dangerous to stay at the shop. So, um, boss let us go home. Better to be home safe than to, uh, potentially get stuck in the storm. Ah, <laughs> I think I would love some hot soup. Sundubu jjigae. Maybe even stew. We have options. What do you th- Oh. What? Baby? Hey. Are you okay? That's a stupid question. I- What's wrong? You're not feeling well? Hmm. I remember you saying that you were feeling a little strange the past couple of days. See, I told you you should have rested yesterday. <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. I will not scold you. Might tease you later, but <laughs> for now. Have you checked your temperature? That's pretty high. Not um, life-threateningly high, exactly, but it's running a decent fever. <laughs> yeah, I bet you feel like absolute garbage. No, no. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. Oh, I'll be fine. I haven't gotten sick in forever, remember? Well, those were just allergies kicking me in the butt. I haven't actually gotten sick, levels of sick. Mm-hmm. Got the immune system of... Whatever creature has an amazing immune system. <laughs> I'm just trying to lighten the mood a little. Well, I hope it would help a little. So you've taken your temperature. Mm -hmm. well, what else have you done? Any symptoms? Uh, like, well, the fever, sweats, chills, feeling too warm, too cold. Mm, congestion, sore throat, yes, all of these can be symptoms of something. It's okay. If anything, you're not the only one. I heard that there's a lot of random illnesses going around lately. It's cold, the temperature's changing drastically from place to place all over the world. It's no wonder that people are getting sick. Our bodies are just not used to it. I manage, somehow. I don't know how, but somehow I do. <laughs> yes, I feel very lucky. And because of that, I get to take care of you until you feel better. Oh, shush, I insist. I don't work for a couple of days anyway. Next couple are my days off, and after that, my job does allow me to work from home if I need to. I'll just say I have someone very sick to take care of, and I don't want to potentially spread it to them. <laughs> yep, I can do that. 
And before you say anything, no, I'm not lying to them. I just won't be distancing myself from you like most health professionals would advise. But how else am I going to take care of you? You know? <laughs> stop. Stop trying to fight it, silly. You're too sick for that. Under the weather. Whatever. Not feeling well. Just let me help, okay? Thank you. So, now that I am here, why don't you run with me? Well, run with me, don't run with me. Run through your symptoms with me. Maybe we can either figure out what you have, or at the very least, figure out ways we can help you feel better, or, you know, feel at least comfortable while your body's fighting off whatever it is it has right now. I don't think I need my pen and paper. Just because my memory isn't the best doesn't mean that I'll never remember anything. I remember things that are important to me. And one of those things is you. And making sure you're taken care of. Your sickness and health, remember? Things like that. Yeah, well, I like it. Now, stop arguing and tell me what, what's happening. You said temperature. What else? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. C. Mm-hmm. Oh, none of that sounds good. <laughs> Just because I can't quite relate at the moment does not mean that I can't sympathize, empathize with you. Because I know how much it sucks to be sick. Nobody likes it. Yes. Well, seeing as you're pretty much couch-ridden at the moment, why don't you stay here on the couch, and I... Huh? Oh, right, yeah. Again, sometimes memory of goldfish. Well, judging by what you're dealing with, it's definitely based on the weather. Well... Oh, sorry. Again, work was crazy, but I'll tell you about that later. It seems to me like some hot soup is in order. Something light, because you said that your stomach's feeling a little sensitive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I did suggest Sundu Bojige, but that doesn't mean that we have to have it. I'm perfectly fine with something as simple as chicken noodle soup, or miso udon anything that's, you know, warm and healing and tasty and is smooth on the throat and is relaxing to the stomach. Yeah, well, I made up the analogy myself. How do you like it? <laughs> You're such a weirdo. Of course I love you. So, some light soup, 
noodles. Yeah, I can make that. I went to the market yesterday, so we're fully stocked up on all of the things that we like. We do have cough drops. Yeah, they're in the cupboard. I can get them for you after we figure everything out and come up with a game plan. Of course, I'd be happy to. Yes, I think that would be fantastic for your throat. Some hot tea. Some soothing um, flavor. Along with some honey. Honey does wonders with tea when your throat hurts. Of course it does, and of course I'd know. I had to figure this out myself when I work holiday hours. But all I'm doing is talking for six-ish hours in a, you know, a day for many days a week. So I'll get those. I'll make you some tea. Have some soup. How is your head? Like, headaches? Migraine? Anything? Well, I ask because if it's not too bad, we can turn something on and watch something together. Sort of, you know, get your mind off things. Focus on whatever we're watching as opposed to, you know, that. Of course, can't hurt to try. And no, I won't be upset if for some reason you're, you know, it gets too much. I'm perfectly okay with it. No, I won't watch it without you. Promise. And how about a shower? A bath? No, not a bath. No one likes baths. Well, not true. People like baths, but you're just sitting in your own dirt. True. Not if you shower first and then bathe. That's just getting clean and fixed. Anyway, tangent aside, a warm shower might be good. Help with the sinuses, help with the headache. Plus, who doesn't love stepping in a nice warm shower? It always just helps you feel a little better. Yeah. Oh, I'll shower later. I didn't really sweat at work today, so... I count that as a win. And one less thing for me to worry about at the moment. Mm -hmm. You think that's it? You sure? <laughs> Alright. So, to repeat the order... Um, or well, you know what I mean, the to-do list. Make some warm tea, hot tea, with some honey for the throat, sore throat. Some light soup noodles. Oh, it sounds good. I'm excited to make it. <laughs> yes, I can get you a couple more blankets if you feel like you need it. And then we can try and watch stuff. Probably nothing too intense. Too many jump scares or sudden loud noises. I know that that can sometimes make the migraine worse. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and of course, a shower. Nothing feels better. Yes, you have to tough it out and shower. I promise you'll feel better afterwards. You might not be fully healed, but you'll feel better.
Good. I think it is a solid plan, yeah. So, how does this sound? You go, take a shower, get yourself, you know, cleaned up, a little refreshed, relaxed, whatever you'd like to call it. And then, once you're done, or by the time you're done, the soup should be nearly ready. I can also make tea at the same time, and some hot water as well, just, you know, in case. Yep, of course you can choose. <laughs> Alright. That sounds good. I like this plan. Hmm? <laughs> sure. I could tell you how work went as well if you'd like, but... I'm taking care of you first. My work day can wait. Nothing too insane happened, so it was pretty run-of-the-mill stuff. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. And yes, that's my stomach. Shh. <laughs> All right, love. Go and get yourself a shower. Get freshened up. <sighs> I'm going to probably get a snack while I cook, otherwise this noise is going to drive me insane. <laughs> but I'll work on dinner, and once that's ready, we can curl up on the couch together and watch something, anything. If you wish. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad you like the plan. I love you too. Now go get yourself in. Shower. Get clean. I'll get dinner ready. And then we can have a nice, quiet evening together. To relax and hopefully speed up your healing process. Of course. Happy to help. Okay. See you soon, love. Have a nice shower. <laughs> 